Well, here we are on Seahawk. It's, uh, yeah, it's uh, Tuesday, the 18th of October, and straightened up here a little bit after getting clobbered the last 24 hours, and uh, went to get the GoPro type cheap, cam cheap GoPro camera, and I left it out here and it was waterlogged and doesn't work so gives you an idea of a lot of water flying around right now um, making good time good miles uh five and a half knots and we're on course kind of close hauled not quite a beat but pretty well upwind um things have settled down in the last few hours because the um waves have matured a little bit so double reefed main and a stay so not the storm stay so but give you a shot of the waves here never quite as impressive on recordings but we're making it i'm getting some water here and there everywhere but yeah it's okay um so i don't know what to show here other than the bow the view ahead i don't know if you can hear the wind's not quite howling but it's definitely whistling <coughs> excuse me all right um, going down below, this is how the boat looks while under passage. Oh. There we go. So the computer station where I have the nav software and the uh, nav table, the instruments where I can keep an eye out for other boats. That's the AIS and the single sideband below it. 12 volt inverter, GPS, VHF radio. Oh, moving around. A lot of rocking and rolling here. So the galley, stove, a little bit of food there, and uh, <laughs> there's the bag with the camera trying to dry it out. <clears throat> the refrigerator there pumps for the salt and fresh water and all kinds of uh, leaks on the floor water in definite various places so here's what the cabin looks like so since we're on a starboard tack and this side's low this is where I'm sleeping couple pillows uh, blanket control for the radio and the obligatory glasses and uh, headlamp, lots of books. The other side is storage. I don't know, sail covers, foul weather gear and so on. And again, lots of books. Now let's see if we can go forward here. Okay. Oh yeah, the uh, batten on the floor because of the sail damage on that first day. Now going back here, going forward, the V-berth is also being used completely as storage right now. That's where I'll sleep when I'm in port, but for now, the cushions, the covers, and oh, the inflatable dinghy. And then the head, which I use as little as possible on passage. Uh, so just kind of, it's kind of hard to brace myself with one hand, usually two. Oh! So there we go, looking around again from the forward looking aft. 
and the boats rocking and rolling. Oh, try to go forward here. Go aft here. So there we go. Um, your little tour of Seahawk underway. This is usually where I sit up here, kind of keep an eye on things. It's mostly protected from the spray, although in these conditions, get wet occasionally. All's well, about 190 miles to Bermuda. Like I said, it's what, Tuesday? So sometime overnight Thursday if the winds hold. I don't know if they'll let me into Bermuda or whether I gotta wait to daybreak, but of course that's looking way too far ahead. I still got quite a few miles to go. Love to all, bye.